we sign a contract at the start of every year. It's like a list of rules saying that I will not, I will not, I will not. No drinking, no drugs, no sex. We do things a little bit differently oh. here. I just don't want to pour my whole heart out right off the bat. No, guard your heart, but yeah. like tell me everything, but like guard it. I've never had a girlfriend my entire life. Everyone around here is trying to find their spouse. It's like a marriage hunting ground. You don't want to miss out on what this campus has to offer. And the atmosphere is like a giant utopia. This whole thing is embarrassing. Why did I even agree to this? For the shoot, but it, we, we're the there. same size. Okay. So I'm just gonna do it for both of us. Okay. But it's cool. 80s themed. And the oh, really? photographer said he has like some cool like 80s car. I'm excited. I wonder if we could ask mom. <laughs> She'll probably, She'd probably know. get really excited about it. I know. What are you doing? I'm actually seeing Kaylin today for the first time really? in a while. What are you guys gonna do? I think we're just gonna hang out around here and we kind of like have fun together, so. I mean, we miss each other, so. Yeah, just, that's good. You, I feel like you guys need that. Yeah, I know. I'm excited to see him. Okay, well, I don't want to be late to the fitting. So okay. Go. Run home? Yeah. I guess we're signed up, so. All right, dude. Thank Take you. care. I'll see you Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, 9 o'clock. Right, NPC, yeah, yeah, so it's like same spot. All right, dude. Hey. Well, 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 look who we have over here. <laughs> it's Robert Carlson. Well, are you signed up for the Guerrilla Film Society yet? Well, by the looks of it, it only looks like one person signed up. Well, that's me. That's my that's my name for demo purposes. I don't know. I've already signed up to a hula club. Oh, and I didn't want to be really a part of that. It's Guerrilla, Guerrilla Film Society is like filmmaking uh, with the lowest amount of budget possible. So it does not actually involve gorillas. Oh, okay. Sorry. That was a concern I had. So, well, worry thank no you more. for clarifying that. Um, yeah, sure thing. I just don't know if this is the club for me, though. Why is it not a club for you? You come, you get to talk about movies, and we do lots of buddy group stuff. So, hey, you have a chance to to meet someone in this club. It's, okay, so it's you're social. so let me get this straight. By joining this club, I'm guaranteed a date. Yeah, just about. Okay, basically. That, then I am definitely part of this. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go look around at other clubs. I, I really like what you got going on over here. Yeah, we got our, our fun. little uh, demo stuff. I don't have much of a display, but you know you gotta start somewhere, yep. right? Unfortunately, I'm definitely not gonna join Robert's Catch club. Catch on the flippity flop. I'm sorry, Robert. It's just, it's not really a cool club. Let's go. What's up, Robbie? Uh, I'm just thinking about the year, thinking about like what we need to do and, and like what Garrett and I need to do specifically to just change, you know, how the students are viewing the, the team, just the athletic program. The view and the perception of the baseball team isn't good. It's they slack, they're partiers, they're bad grades. And so coming here, I thought, you know, how can I change that? And then with coach coming in, being a new coach, it was how can we change that and move forward? What are you thinking? How, how's that going to happen? I mean, we thought of some ideas. Garrett and I actually met yesterday, and we were talking about getting like care packages and just like handing them out to random students. Well, what do you What do you think? What would be in the packages? What do you What are you thinking? We're, we're thinking about maybe baking something. Okay. Uh, Who's doing the baking? Goes out. Of course, of course, me. All right. What's What's your What's your go-to then? Might go with the uh, like a baseball cookie <laughs> or something like that. All right. You good with that? I'm good. All right. Get after it. I like it. Listen to the birds that sing in. Today I am going skateboarding with Kaylin. We are not back together yet, but we just decided we're gonna hang out. I think any breakup is just terrible, but this one's just been especially bad because we were together for so long and then like it just ended like that.
skateboards. Oh. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to look cool. All right, you're good. Can I come out? Yeah, go. Are you sure? Yeah, go. Because you said, yeah, go, and then more people came by. Go, yeah, go. I'm ready for it. I'll catch you. Woo! <laughs> You were in the right spot to catch me. I think we definitely have things that we need to talk about, but if it all goes well, then I wouldn't be opposed to getting back together, but I just wanna make sure that we're on the same page with what went wrong and what needs to be fixed. Right towards the end of my shift at the table, I realized Tony was still over looking at other tables, so I catch up with him, and I'm trying to convince him that Gorilla Film Society really is a fun place to go. But I'm not sure if he's actually legitimately interested or if he's just signing up for everything. And there's people who do that who are just kind of, I don't know, club fair hustlers, and they run around and they sign up for every single club, and they stick with none of them. Good luck with your club. Thank you. Hope to see you around. I don't understand why you wanted to sign up for uh, the Feminist Club. Well, Robert, my philosophy is that if I join every club, chances are I'm going to join a club I like, OK? So regardless, if I join every club. What about what about these clubs? Uh, what no. What about like yoga no. club? You're not, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, oh, what, no, okay. what, is what is public Crush. relations? But I mean, Adventures. none of these are as cool as the film club. None of these, oh, sorry, no offense. <laughs> sorry, it's still a cool club. But what is more interesting to all of you than to, than KFC? to come and talk Dude, about Dude, KFC. Film? Oh, no, HFC, that's not the same thing. Look, I gotta go to lunch soon, but I'm just wondering, like, why, why do you not want to sign up for the film club? Tony. Robert, okay, maybe, frankly, I'm not really into gorillas or film, okay, Robert? Okay. Dude, there's bananas and holsters. What is? I want to sign up for this. really great skateboarding it was probably the best time I'd had in a long time even though it was such a simple afternoon it was so nice to be back with him and hang out <laughs> so did you have a good time skateboarding <laughs> yeah I did it was really fun except for you're way better than I am and I probably looked like the girl that was getting pulled by her yeah boyfriend. like the girl who was getting pulled it was nice spending time with each other again though I oh, know. I miss you a lot. I'm glad we got to hang out. But I don't know. Like, you can't just go from having all these problems and like being broken up and whatnot, and then boom, we're back together. You know? You just got real heavy with me. You went from talking about how you miss me to just boom straight to it, huh? I just want to make sure like this is right, you know? And like, if we, I just. I know there's some things in our relationship that we just have different opinions on and we've never really talked about. I've just kind of like accepted as like, you know? Are you and, talking about alcohol? Well, yeah, that and, yeah. Obviously our, my overreaction stemmed from you drinking. And I saw s some things that made me feel uncomfortable and like, I know, I'm not trying to be legalistic because I have a past and I drank when I was in high school and all this stuff, but I think it's something that should just be approached cautiously. Yeah, and I know. But you know, I know that. Okay. So why but is this your is problem my thing. now? It's how much experience do you have with alcohol? But I'm with people who I trust. Like, just it's I, just because it's not you doesn't mean I know, mean I... but it sounds like your mindset's like, Okay, like if I cross that line and I do get drunk, like at least I'm like around people. I just don't no. want that line to be crossed. It's just not, there's nothing positive about that, I don't think. Are you low on your potassium for the day? Uh, yes. Can I have one? Yes. Yes, you may. <laughs> I don't get why you're uh, 
Because you can't have any other kind of gun replica on campus. So. Oh, so you have bananas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Campbell approved. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Okay. But yeah, That's we're Biola Gun Club. We uh, do discussions and education on firearms. Jeez. And uh, when risk management lets us, we actually will take people to the range as part of the club. That's all I ever wanted. You're here to protect my Second Amendment rights. You're here to practice your Second Amendment rights. Count yeah. me in. I, I, I'm totally going to join. I'm, pro I'm awesome. sorry. I'm probably not going to sign up. Sign I'm up just like, I got, I'm leaning up one of the other clubs. Tony signed up, but he yeah, might yeah, not go. Yeah, that's a maybe, though. Tony, you're, Tony's signing up for like every single club. Okay. But so, no, I'm actually interested in Hey, this we one. get it, because like, you know, what, 80 sign-ups and usually 30 or 40 people at the club meetings. I'm trying to get a few more people, you know, we're at 10, but it's like, Tony, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go to the gorilla films. Sorry, it's either bananas and guns or gorillas and... You do have oh. to prioritize. Yeah, it's do. gorilla, it's gorilla, like gorilla warfare, well, it's low budget. We should advertise that differently, uh, Robert. That is I a good go point on the pronunciation. Go. Gorilla or gorilla? It's, I'd say gorilla because it's, it's not gorillas. Okay. Well, it's guerrero. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. going to lunch. So, yeah. well, Robert, take care. Thanks for signing up, Tony. Yeah. And you want to join Tony at some time? Right. You're welcome. Right, well, Wait, I Robert, Robert, Robert. What? Yeah. Take a banana. Take a banana. Get your potassium. Yeah. Thanks. Have a great day, guys. Yeah. I'm really excited for the gun club. The gun club has everything I ever wanted. Guns. What are you so concerned about? Like, what are you worried that is going to happen if I have a drink? Like, why are you so... Okay. What do you not trust? You're at like a big concert and there's a bunch of guys that used to be just like I used to be, just drinking to get drunk and after girls. And it's not the fact that I know you love me, but what's to stop, you know, a guy in that atmosphere to being a little bit too comfortable with you, you know? And like, it's just kind of a hard thing to just so like picture my girlfriend just surrounded by like a bunch of old yous. <laughs> old me's, yeah. Well just a bunch of just drunk and obnoxious guys that don't respect you. In that in that environment, like they're not looking at you in terms of respecting you. And I think that you're someone that deserves to be respected all the time. And the, the environment was what I, what I was worried about. Okay. The environment is something that can worry him, but I think that most of his trust should be placed in me. Like, because you're never going to be able to trust an environment fully. It's a person that you're going to have to learn to trust. With my own two hands, I will build a city just for you. Wait, what time do we have practice at? 1.30. You got to go 12.45. We got to do this. T-minus 45 minutes. The dugout was a pretty bad idea to prepare all that stuff. We broke probably every health code that there is by preparing those cookies. Didn't wash our hands, did it in a really dirty environment. The cookies sat for a little while. We chose Jesus and kindness over food poisoning and health codes, 100%. We figured if they got sick, there's no way they could bring it back to the cookie. We have a hashtag? We could hashtag We could start baseball. a hashtag. I'm just going to. Let's do it, no joke. Okay, I'm just I like gonna write that. hashtags actually on this entire thing. All right, so. We have like 200 of these bags to pass out. There's no shot we're carrying them all out on campus. Um. Robert, you in there? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, there you are. What are you doing at the window? Uh, starting a drive through for students so they can bike right past here and I feed them food. Well, just got back from Gun Club. Oh, not the film club. I yeah, see. Yeah, Gun Club didn't work out. They didn't even have guns. Oh, Gun Club. We basically showed up, we watched videos of guns, and we left. It was a severe disappointment. Look, I told you all the other clubs are just a bunch of phonies. They just, you know, they just want your name and your email. I'd actually care about you as a person. Okay, uh, that's not what I'm looking for in a club. I'm looking for excitement, danger, thrill. All right, well, forget the clubs for a sec. Did you hear if there's a nation ball tonight? It's not a club, but it's going to be sweet because they have all the dorms competing against each other in a massive dodgeball tournament. See, that doesn't really interest me. I bet you're not even good at dodging stuff. Um, I'm really good. Okay. Oh, yeah? I don't need to. Dodge this. Oh, God, Robert. Dodge this. Robert. 
Boom. You know what? I'll show you. Uh, I'll be there. You can run, but you can't hide. I don't know. Like, do you think we can fix it? Like, I think there's... There's things we need to do to make <laughs> this work. Yeah. And I think it helps that we address, like, what those things are. But now it's about taking steps forward and making things work, so... Like, what happens when you have a problem with something and I don't? Well, you're the girl I want to be with, and I want to make it work with you, and I guess part of that's going to be sacrifice, and, but, I mean, hopefully along the lines you're going to help me and make it easier for me. I was a little scared to get back with him because I didn't want to be just jumping back, right back into something that was going to end again in be so hard, like, I didn't so want to go through those motions case. again. But I want to give us a chance to see if it's going to work. And <laughs> I don't want to just quit and never know if we can get through these differences. Did you anticipate this moment? Us being back together? Yes. But there was a time, I admit, where I didn't think we were going to get back together. When? When you insisted on not being together. The initial plan for the care packages was to get the Biola baseball team hopefully a better reputation. We didn't have the greatest one. Hey, hey, Jess, we need to How find a there, bag man? with a Twinkie in it. Have a great day. She has never had a Twinkie in her entire life. Going into this whole thing, I thought there was a chance that it could, could hurt the image because people could view it as almost like a joke, like, okay, what are these guys trying to do? I mean, because we just have a reputation already, so like we're going out and doing this thing, it's kind of like, all right, what's your angle here? But actually, like when we did it, and all the people that we, you know, gave out the the bags to, it, they were really happy and really thankful. And so it actually went a lot better than I thought. Well, I wanted, what does your note say, though? I can't remember if I wrote it or not. Hope you have a great day, Philippines two, three through eleven. That's a good one. Baseball that was best cure for a bad day is a good friend. The baseball team is a friend. Yeah. 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 We found that the people that we actually gave the care packages out to enjoyed the notes most, like, out of pretty much anything in the bag. So it's been a really good day with Kaylin. We're gonna work through things. Um, we talked about it, and I feel really good about it. And now I'm off to a shoot with Lost Surfboards. Um, me and Michelle are really excited. It's gonna be 80s themed. And yeah, hopefully it turns out really cool. Oh my gosh, you're making wow. so good. Wait, you look so good. You remind me of, like, <laughs> Cotton candy or something. <laughs> I look like a superhero. <laughs> no, you're cute. You're I like scared hot. myself when I looked in the mirror. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go back to school after this. <laughs> I know, me neither. At least Kaylin's there. You guys are back together now and everything. I know. It's fun. Are you happy Actually, you're back it's together? It's so nice being back with them, especially at school. Miss him. Michelle and I have both, we've done modeling things together before and they're always really fun because we, I think we work well together. Just make faces at me and I'm gonna mimic them, okay? Okay. Pretend you're tigers, but don't, if not too much tiger, nope, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little too much. Just tiger, like baby tiger. I'm like in the baby sound and then all of a sudden you say something. Stop laughing. I'm not. <laughs> Can we go in yet? No, Tony, we're not gonna go in until you're totally and epically hyped for this dodgeball game. I am hyped for the hot dogs. No. And the women with the dodgeball. No, it's the main focus is dodgeball. Everything else is just in the peripheral vision. You are focused on dodgeball. You want to win the game. You want to sacrifice for your team. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But I really just want. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Woo. Oh, yeah. These guys are hyped. You see that? You see that sort of hype? They're not here just for the games and the fun. They are here for the event. Okay. They're here okay. For dodgeball. Okay. I'm here and just for dodgeball. And just for dodgeball. 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 Dodgeball. And hot dogs. Let's and go. women. So we're walking to a gymnasium. The party's already started without us. Go figure. Nation Ball is Clash of the Titans. 
people from all dorms gather in one central location to duke it out for the title. They all dance, they wear ridiculous costumes. It's essentially a rave, but with the lights off. And no drugs. And next thing you know, the blood battle begins. People are throwing balls at each other. Teams are being eliminated. I'm in, weaving around through the crowds. Our dorm steward wins one. I was like, wow. It was not expected because the previous years, from what I've heard, we suck and we usually get disqualified in the first round. Then we win the next one, then the next one, then boom, we're in the finals. And guess what, we win again. And we take the title home. That's how it's done. That's, that's pretty good for your first year, I'd say. Some kids kind of go and they sulk in the back, but you were out there in the front yeah, lines. Yeah, I was giving so. my all. Get it in the sweat and grind. That's I don't even know about. what I was touching half the time. That's what it's all about, getting out on campus, making stuff happen, man. You would have missed out. If I hadn't I thrown those have. bars of soap at you, you would have gone nowhere. That's true. All right, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. OK, well, I'm going to keep you up all night. Honey, it's been fun, but there is a time when, when the adventure ends. Nope, not with me. I feel like now we understand mom more. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We've like, been through the 80s. We do this every we single morning. We listen to the music. We crimped our hair. I know. So should I drop you off at school tonight in this car? <laughs> just kidding. Yes. Can we drive it? <laughs> should we just shut the doors? Just... I'm scared I'm going to do this wrong. And... Oh, oh, my God. I feel gosh. like I'm going to smash my head. <laughs> Who's the artist who decorated these? That'd be, That'd be partially me, partially okay, him, partially, partially uh, Tony. Okay, do you know who Tony is? He's from the Alaska. Alaska. Little Tony. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, we saw him hanging out up here, and we we're like, we just asked him if he wanted to come help me.